This is the second problem that I'm going to give you to do metric to metric conversion. Remember, this is made for a NAMI 10A lab, uh, and the NAMI 10A lab is a class that's offered at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. Before we get started, I want to review the six steps that you should go through to do this problem. Step number one, start with what you have. You should know the unit that you begin with, and with that unit, find the decimal point for that unit. Step number two, find that same decimal point on the number line. The number line you should have committed to memory. Step number three, write this number that you're given on the number line that you just drew. Step number four, find the desired unit or the unit you're looking for on the number line. Step number five, find the decimal point for this new unit. And step number six, fill in the blanks in between with zero. And that's your answer. So let's get started with problem number two. Here's the problem. You have 24 kiloliter, and I want you to convert it to liters, centiliter, milliliters, and microliters. Okay? Once again, I give this to you as a help. But please remember, you have to write this on your own for the test. This chart will not be given to you on the test. You have to memorize and draw this on your own. Go to the next slide when you're ready to hear the solution. Okay, you start with 24 kiloliter. Remember, whenever we don't specify the decimal point, it's always to the right. So in this case, the decimal point would be here, in the kilo column. Here's the kilo column. The decimal point is always understood to be to the right of it, which means the decimal point right now is here, okay? So this 24 kiloliter has a decimal point there. In the kilo column, the decimal point is always to the right, so this same decimal point is here, okay, in the kilo column. Now, I'm going to fill the number 24. This is only one digit, so the 4 will have to go there. Okay, and then the 2 would be over here in the next digit over. I want to take it to the leader column. The leader column is this column here. It's always understood that the decimal point is to the right of it, so here's the decimal point. The decimal point will be here, and then we fill in the blanks with zero. There are three blanks, three zeros. One, two, three. So the answer is 24,000 liters. And indeed, kilo is the prefix for thousand. So yes, 24 kiloliters is 24,000 liters. Go to the next slide when you're ready for the next problem. Here, we're interested in going to the centiliter column, which would be this column here. Once again, how do we start? We start with a kilo. When we're in the kilo column, we understand the decimal point is always to the right, so here it is, which means when we're in the kilo column, the decimal point is here. We fill in the number that we're given, four in this space, and then the next space over is the number two. Okay, so that's 24 kilo, that's what we're given. However, I want to take it to the centiliter column, which would be here. Centi is here. So when we're in this centi column, the new decimal point would have to be here, to the right of it. So, that's the new decimal point. And the next step, as you know, is to fill the blanks with zero. How many zeros here? Five. One, two, three three, four, five. So the answer is 24, one, two, three, four, five, zero. So it's 24 kiloliter is the same thing as 24, oh, I'm sorry, that's a little mistake on my part. So I just cram it all in. 24 kiloliter is two, Four and then five zero. One, two, three, four, five centiliter. 
and the comma would have to be here. So 24 kiloliter is the same thing as 2,400,000 centiliter. Okay? I hope that makes sense. When you're ready, go to the next slide for the next problem. Here's the next problem. Once again, we're given 24 kiloliter. Remember, we start with this column and the kilo. It's understood the decimal point is always to the right, so this is the decimal point. It's always understood the decimal point is to the right, so this is the decimal point. So we're going to start with that. And the number 2, 4 goes here, because this is only one digit, that's one digit, and the digit over is 2. And I want now to go to the milli column, which is this column here. When we're in this column, it's understood that the decimal point is to the right, which is here. So that's the new decimal point now. Okay. Which means you have to fill in with zeros these six spaces. One, zero, two, three, four, five, six zeros. And that's your answer. 24 and six zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six milliliter. Space is too small, so I'm going to write it down here like this, so it's easier to see. Okay, so 24 kiloliter is the same thing as 24 million milliliters. Okay, hopefully you understand how I did that. Continue on to the next slide when you're ready for the next problem. And once again, we start with 24 kiloliter, which means we're going to be in this column. When we're in this column, it's understood that the decimal point is to the right. So this is the decimal point. And that means that it's the same decimal point down here. We fill the number 24 on this timeline here. Two, four. Now you want the answer in microliters, which is all the way over here, okay? This is the micro column, which means the decimal point when you're in this column is to the right, which is here. That's the new decimal point. And then the next thing you do is fill in the blanks with zero. How many blanks are there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blanks means nine zeros. So we're going to copy down the 24 and nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So 24 and nine zeros. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine zeros. And that would be micro liters. Okay? So in other words, 24 kiloliter is the same thing as 24 billion microliters. I hope that makes sense. When you're ready, go to problem number three. It's a little bit harder.